Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these super cute tiny little padded hearts. They're utterly adorable. You can use them for whatever you like. I personally like to use mine as like a little pin cushion or needle minder on the side of my sofa, but you could turn these into little wall hangings, garlands, key rings. The only limit is your imagination. The materials you're going to need. Now, I personally like to make my hearts in two contrasting colors. They also look very pretty if you use a variegated yarn, or again, they're really sweet if you just use the same single color for both front and back. So you go ahead and grab any yarn, any weight, any size that you fancy. We barely need any to make these hearts. It's just tiny scrap amounts. For your hook size, pick whatever hook your chosen yarn recommends. We're going to need a pair of scissors, a large eye needle, and a little bit of stuffing. All right, let's jump straight on in. To begin, we're going to start with a magic ring. Now, if you absolutely detest the magic ring, that's fine. You can substitute it out by chaining two and then working all of your stitches into the very first chain that you made. However, I'm a magic ring fan, so I'm going to start with my magic ring. And from that magic ring, chain two to start. One, two. Now into the ring, we're going to work three treble stitches. These are American terms, so yarn over twice before we begin the stitch. Then go into the ring, drop a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two. Yarn over, draw through two. Yarn over and draw through two to complete your treble. That's one, we need two more. So yarn over twice and then complete your treble as normal. That's two. And that's three. Now work three double crochets into the ring. Again, American terms, so yarn over before you begin your stitch. One, two, three. That's the top and side of your heart. Now we're going to work on the bottom section of the heart and that consists of one double crochet, one treble crochet, which is the yarn over twice, and one double crochet. That's the bottom point of your heart. Now we're going to come back up the side, so work three more double crochets into the magic ring. It's one, two, three, and then work three treble crochets all into this ring. And the trebles are yarn over twice before you begin the stitch. So we need three in total. That's one. Two. And three. Now chain two and work a slip stitch into the magic ring. Make sure you are still sandwiching that little tail. So we're going to work a slip stitch into the magic ring. Then chain one, find the chain two space from that very first chain two you made into that space here, work a single crochet stitch straight into that space, work a single crochet. Now 
Now you can go ahead and pull the magic ring closed at the back. Pull it nice and tight. Now for the second round of this heart, we're going to be working into the top of the stitches from round one and we're going to be working under both loops of the top of those stitches. So working under both loops and into the very first stitch, we're going to work three double crochets all into that same stitch. That's one, and then back into the same stitch. That's two, and same stitch again for that third double crochet. So you've worked three double crochets all into the top of the same stitch. Now in the next stitch, work three double crochet stitches again. That's one. two, three. Into the next stitch, again, work three double crochet stitches all into that same stitch. Now into the next three stitches, we're going to work one double crochet in each. So just one double crochet into the top of the next three stitches. Into the next stitch, work two double crochet stitches into the same stitch. So that's one and two into the same place. Now into the next stitch, we're going to do something a little bit different. Again, we're going to work three stitches into the same spot. So into that same stitch, we're gonna work three stitches. The first stitch we're going to do is an extended double crochet stitch. So yarn over, go into the stitch and draw up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through just one, that very first loop. So yarn over, draw through one. You'll still have three loops on your hook. Now you can complete your double crochet as normal. So yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then working back into that same stitch, we're going to work a treble. So yarn over twice, then yarn over and pull through two, three times. And back into that same stitch again, we're going to work another extended double crochet. So yarn over, go into the stitch and draw up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through just that first loop. Then yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two to complete your extended double crochet stitch. Into the next stitch, work two double crochets, just normal double crochet stitches, two of them, that's one and that's two into the same spot. Then in the next three stitches, work one double crochet in each of those. So just one double crochet, into the top of the next three stitches. That's one, two, and three. Into the next stitch, work three double crochet stitches all into the same spot. So three double crochets,
into the next stitch, work three double crochet stitches. And then into the next stitch, which will be your final stitch from the row below, work three double crochets all into that same stitch. So it's one, two, and three. So you can see we come all the way around and back up again. Now into this chain two space, which will just be the gap between these last two stitches, pop a single crochet, so don't yarn over, just work a single crochet into that chain two space. Then to finish this round, slip stitch to that first single crochet that was made right at the very end of this first round before we pulled the magic ring closed. So you can see your double crochet stitches and then tucked in there'll be this little tiny diddy short one. We're just going to slip stitch into the top of that one. So don't yarn over or anything, just pop your hook in. It's quite hard to see, but pop your hook in, pull the yarn through the stitch and through the loop on your hook. Now chain one and cut your yarn, leaving a decent long tail. Pull that up and through, pull it tight. Then grab a large eye needle and thread up this tail. Now we're going to find the back of the work, which is where your tail from your magic ring will be hanging out. And we're just going to run it down a couple of stitches. This will be on the inside, so you don't need to be too neat. Just pull it down and I'm just gonna run it wherever I can, really. Like I say, you don't need to be too neat with this. You just want to get those tails out of your way. The same with that magic ring tail. Just pop it onto your needle. These hearts, they're not designed for rough play, so you don't need to worry too much. Just run it under a couple of stitches like that, so you can't see it on the front. Just to secure that tail down. Then you can trim off these two ends, but you, again, you don't need to be too neat because that, that will be on the inside of your heart hidden. Now grab your contrasting colour and you're going to make this heart again. We're going to repeat rounds one and two and you're going to slip stitch to finish but do not cut your yarn. So go ahead and repeat that to make your second heart but do not cut your yarn. So I've made my second heart here. I joined with the slip stitched and chain one, but I haven't cut my yarn because now we are going to join our two hearts together. Now when joining the contrasting colors, this yellow will be the back of my heart, but I want the join to show on the front because it gives the decorative contrast color edge. So as you can see, I made this green heart first and then this peach colored one is the same as my yellow one. And I joined it, but I wanted the peach on the front. Same with this pink one here. I made the pale pink heart first and then I did a darker pink one, which would have been my same time as my yellow. And then I've joined it and I want the contrast join on the front. Now, if you are making your heart the same color back and front like this one here then to join them you would simply work the join that we're going to do with this yellow one facing you 
because if the back of my heart was yellow too, it doesn't matter which side this decorative join is on. So if your heart is the same color on both sides, work with the color that is currently attached to your ball of yarn with that side facing you and we will work the join on this side. However, if you are doing what I've done with the contrasting colors, we want that join on the front. So to do that, we have to do something slightly different just at the very beginning when joining these two hearts together. And that's what I'm going to show you now. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to draw up a bit of a loop just so that it doesn't come off. Now you want to make sure that the inside, the wrong side, so the side that your little tails are hanging out from, I'm just going to trim this yellow one as I speak, you want to make sure that those are facing inwards together. So you want the right side of your work pointing out. Now I want this different colored join to show on the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the join with the purple heart facing me. Now, as I mentioned, if both hearts are the same color, then you can carry on and just join in this direction with the heart that you're currently working on. But to get this decorative join on the front, I'm going to work with the purple side facing me. I'm going to identify one of these stitches. So I'm going to go straight in with this very first double crochet that I made. The single crochet is down here and we slip stitch to joined to that one and it's a bit more tricky to find. So find the very first stitch, which will probably be your first double crochet and just pop your hook through it. Then, Pick up your yellow heart with the wrong side facing. Find the same stitch on that heart. So here's the single crochet that we made at the very end. I'm going to find the double crochet. So come in one, find that last double crochet stitch you made. Keep your eye on it and pop your hook under that stitch too. You just want your stitches to match. So those are double crochet stitches. Now pop the, the loop of that yellow back onto your hook, tighten it up, and we're going to draw that loop through the stitch on this yellow heart and on the purple heart. Make sure it's nice and snug. Then chain one. So it seems convoluted, but it's really not. What you're doing is you are just going to marry up a stitch on both sides of the heart. They'll be the mirror image of each other. So if you go for the very first double crochet on your purple heart, you'll be picking the very last double crochet on your yellow heart. We're just drawing this yellow through so that it is on the opposite side for working the join. As I say, I've made it sound way more convoluted than it actually is. We're just pulling that yellow loop all the way through so it's on the reverse. Now, to join these two hearts, slip stitch under the purple and the yellow stitches. So I've put my hook underneath both, yarn over and draw that loop through all those stitches and through the loop on your hook. So we're slip stitching. Then chain one. Again, go under the loops of the very next stitch and under the loops on the stitch behind and slip stitch. Chain one. I'm going to do this all the way around. Slip stitch under the next two stitches. So the one on the one you're working on and the one at the back. Slip stitch, chain one. Do this until we're sort of three quarters of the way around. So stop around here. So just slip stitching both sides together simultaneously. Then chain one. Slip stitch, 
chain one into every stitch. So I've sort of come three quarters of the way round. Now, pull that loop nice and long so it doesn't come off your hook. Grab a little bit of stuffing. You don't need much. These are only lightly padded. You don't want to overstuff them and make them really fat. They're just ever so lightly padded with a little bit of stuffing. So grab a little bit of stuffing. and We're just going to pop it into the heart here. So a little bit up and into the first sort of top section of your heart, a little bit of stuffing in there. So I say not too much, it's only lightly padding it a little bit into the bottom of the heart. Again, not too much. Just lightly padding it. If we put too much stuffing in, it's going to really stretch these stitches and look quite ugly. So just lightly padding. Then tiny bit just in here to this little section which you're currently closing and then continue slip stitching and chaining one as you go around. Just be careful you don't catch the stuffing. Once you have joined nearly all the visible stitches, you'll still have a tiny gap. This is the point at which if you want to add any more stuffing, you can. If you wanted to add a tiny bit more, and you can pop that in and you can use the handle of your crochet hook to poke it in. Then once you're happy, keep just joining so I've got a couple of stitches here chain one got my single crochet here it's a bit more tricky as you get towards the very end just sort of slip stitch don't need to be too precise chain one and then for the very last slip stitch so I've closed all the stitches around I've still got a tiny tiny little gap here so for the very final slip stitch and to really accentuate the sort of dip at the top of the heart, I like to pop a slip stitch just into that area. <laughs> so technical. I just shove my hook in sort of underneath where you did your slip stitch joins and your single crochets just right underneath in the middle. And then again, pop out on the back at a similar spot. So I've gone down a little bit further than my actual stitches. Be careful when doing this that you don't catch all the stuffing on the way back through. I'm going to do a slip stitch, carefully working my hook through. Oops, I've caught things. See, this is part of the problem. Me just shoving my hook in very, very gently. Come through and then complete that slip stitch. Then chain one. Snip your yarn, leaving a tail that we can weave in. Or if you wanted to make a little hanging loop, leave a tail long enough for a little hanging loop. We're going to pull that all the way through, pull it tight. And as you can see, that final little slip stitch sort of gives that divot in a bit better. You could also use this tail for attaching a key ring if you wanted to. How, whatever you want to do with these little hearts, leave it as a little tag leave it make a little hanging loop and to make a hanging loop if that's what you wanted to do let's just go off script for a second you just want to draw it over your finger and then with this needle and thread we're going to go back into that same spot 
pull it through but keep the loop on your finger this would be your hanging loop to whatever length you want it and then you can secure it down with your needle and thread to create a little hanging loop i'm not going to be making a hanging loop today i'm just going to go ahead and totally pull that down and then weave your end in at the back Once you've securely woven in that tail, you can trim your edge. Now, if you pull it nice and tight and taut, then snip it. See, I'm putting quite a lot of tension on. This tail will spring back into the body of the heart. It will disappear completely. And your little tiny padded heart is complete. I really like these little hearts. I personally like to use them as pin cushions just on the side of my sort of arm of my sofa, like, like a little needle minder. But you can use your little padded heart for whatever you fancy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please do give me a big thumbs up. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.